Using Tyke, it is possible to modify inbound and outbound body data and header information on the fly. In this video, I will show you how to do an XML to JSON body transform using the Tyke dashboard. Sometimes you may be exposing an older API or one that uses a legacy structure for input data. Maybe you're creating a new API schema and models that are cleaner, which you want to apply to your existing API without modifying it. You can do all of this using our body transform middleware, which uses the Go template language. There are three easy steps to add a body transform from the type dashboard. The first step is creating the transform. To do this, we select an API from our list of APIs. Then go to the endpoint designer and choose an endpoint for the transform. For this example, I've added this endpoint. Select body transform from the plugins list and notice that we've been given a new plugin, body transform. The second step is defining the transform. In this example, we want XML as the input type. We need to use a template to tell our plugin how to transform the data. For this example, I'll use this template from our documentation. The last step is to test the transform to make sure it works. We need some sample XML input, and we have some on our documentation page here. We paste it in and click the test button and see that the transform worked. The XML has been successfully transformed to JSON.